Welcome to Functional Horsemanship. Um, I previously previously did a post on, on getting the horse to side up to a mountain block, and I'm going to do another one down the road here, uh, either using a fence and, and using a younger horse, one that isn't so uh, sacked out or adept at working off the feel off the lead rope or my lead end of my macate, as the case in this. But simply all I'm doing is uh, getting up on the load block. pressure and release get my horse to move his feet I'm able to just give him a little bit of feel here on the lead rope and get him the ability to move up bump him a little bit and he'll move up right on the road block for me I'm going to cooperate to the end of your tire there you go and where I can mount mount on him helps save knees up uh, your knees on old people and whatnot uh, but as I was getting Junior back to the trailer and getting him tied off in order to un unsaddle him, I was wondering if I can get him to do the same thing, you know, really in the opposite direction in order to get his saddle off. And so I'll just leave this rope here. as opposed to putting this halter back on him and I'll see if he'll do it. It's been my experience when you train a horse to side up to you either on a fence or a mountain block or whatnot that they're usually one sided. They only like to go to one side. And if you can get them to go to one side that's probably going to work for you. You probably don't need to uh, try to make them go both ways on that may be confusing to them. But I think that horses have a unique unique ability to be able to associate you know work tasks, to be able to figure out what you're asking for. Them. And I don't think Junior's any exception to the rule here. So I've got him. He's not really tied up. I just got the Makate looped around the trailer beam right there. And I'm gonna get in the trailer here. See if he'll do it first of all. Come over. Come over. Come over. Come, come over. There you go. Comes right over to me. And how I got how I got him good at that, it only took me about five minutes. I just used a uh, a flag, you know, on a short crop. You know, uh, if your horse isn't sacked out on a flag, then don't do this before he is. But all I did is uh is when he was parallel to the trailer, I just reach over and tap him on the opposite side, tap, 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 over. As soon as he got hit, a little bit of movement in his feet, you know, I take that pressure of that flag away and rub on him. Then I do it again. Tap him and give him the command, come over. As soon as he moved his feet, I take that away. It didn't take but more than just a couple minutes to get him to do this. This may come in handy for some of you that's, you have a really heavy saddle, uh, my wife just had some, some surgery or third cancer surgery and kind of messed up her shoulder a little bit So uh, it's a heavy saddle for it to, to take out of the trailer onto the ground and throw back up on the horse's uh, back um, You know, but sometimes uh, if you got a heavy saddle or if your knees are getting bad your back's, your back's getting bad and it may help you to be able to uh, uh, Saddle up or unsaddle your horse in this case from an elevated platform like the trailer where I keep this saddle that may uh, that may work for you just something you can work on you know as you as you're uh, saddling up your horse or as you're unsaddling up your horse and uh, it makes for a better horse and gives you gives them a little sense of accomplishment make sure you pet on them though make sure you pet on them you all have a safe journey now